That's all of them. Let's see if I can start the retro with this on the journal page. The lantern is handles missing. Now we have what we need over here. We have what we need over here. Uh Okay. Let's see how this helps me. Oh wow. It's a lantern handle. We've got things. A chunk of wax, apparently. And a portal key. Shake it up, up, up. Uh, gotta move the candles. Round and around. Don't know if I'm doing this right. No, 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 no. Did it reset? So empty, full, empty, full, empty, empty, full, empty, empty, full. This is. Here? Yes, it does. Yay. Oh no, it's Bruce. I sought power from the other side, but an accident turned me into a victim. But now I'm back, and I shall complete my ritual. Haha, I don't think so, Evil Grey. No, you won't. I'm gonna free those boys and make sure you go back where you belong. Yeah, man. You're going back. Here, take this charge portal key. The portal key is glowing! Oh my gosh. We are drawing stuff. <laughs> Evil Groot! Do it again! Use the candles to push the Scoutmaster to the other side? Okay. How many do I need? Um. No, uh, no, 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 I will not let you push me back. No. Right here, I guess. Um. Oh. Yeah, talking trees, talking. Slap time. Too bad there's no slappies. Now it's time to strike. Boom, with your candles. You get all of my extra candles. I can't find any more, but nonetheless. Where the heck's the last candle? Here, candle, candle, candle. There it is. Wait, that's not the last candle? Ugh. Yikes. On the floor, on the floor! Thank you, thank you. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. And this is how my first report for the Fright Chasers ends, with Daniel and the rest of his scouting friends reunited with their families. Now they have a chance to return to their normal lives. We couldn't find any trace of that Scoutmaster, and I don't think anyone will miss him. The girls said I did a great job, so I guess I just landed myself a job with the Fright Chasers. I can't wait to see where we go next. Oh, we have a new team member now on the Fright Chasers. 
there you go folks that is the bonus chapter of fright chasers dark exposure brand new to madhead thank you all for joining in and uh watching and following along and all that good stuff kudos again to madhead games for putting together this game it's very nice they developed it and of course for big fish games for publishing it Very nice. So we're gonna let those credits roll on by. And then we're gonna take a peek at some of the extra, extra stuff, like the wallpapers and, I don't know, wallpapers. I think we got the uh, achievement for getting all of the collectibles, but let's just see what else is cooking there. Let's have a peek here. Oh, look at that. Jumped right into it. So first of all, collectibles. Pretty sure we got them all. Yes, we did. Wallpapers. Some nice ones here. Ooh, there's Evil Groot. Kind of like the, the, that one. I'll just save some of these to my desktop. That one's pretty cool. What was that one? What else do I like? Well, obviously Evil Groot. Hey, the gang's all here! Lots and lots of good pictures. I do like it when they have, like, a main character in it like that. I think it's, uh, I prefer it that way. Treasure hunt. Um, okay, this popped into something. I wasn't expecting it to do this. The camera does look cool, too. I agree. Oh, or basically we can kind of, like, you know... Replay the entire game, I guess, is the idea. Revisit all the scenes. I don't know if there's 30 of them or something. Need my glasses. Ah, uh, it's awful quiet here. Where the heck are the glasses? Oh, they're there. Gonna go ahead and gather all this stuff. Pipe, pipe, pipe. This is, of course, from the main game. Remember that was the Red Fury motorcycle? Yeah, Red Fury is bad. Yep, boy, we're not done yet, by the way. We are not done yet, so you stick around if you'd like to enjoy more. I have more tricks up my sleeve. Yeah, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Oh, it's like a motorbike. Oh. Fishy, fishy. Remember the crab? I remember the crab. And there was the inflatable boat in here. We had to put together the uh, motorboat engine. And then this was the ranger hut with the prison or jail, whatever. Yep, there was a uh, totally a beta for this, uh, Brandon. And welcome. Hi, how, how you doing over there? By the way, you folks that are like kind of coming in here at the tail end, there is a new Discord if you want to head over there. Check it out. Seashells by the seashore. You only watch horror series? So, so yeah. Fine. Skizzers, there you are. 
Yeah, Discord. It's like uh, Skype. Uh, but I've built a little community over there for us to kind of chill and hang out. Boom, ba -da boom, boom, boom. Might as well finish this up then. Whistle while you we all work. Breaker. Adjustable wrench. Pony! Now we're back at the museum. Brum, 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 brum! There's the, uh... Oh, remember we fell in here too. Oh, look at the mouse. So adorable. And that's good. I, don't, I can't even tell you the last time I even used Origin. I used it for Overwatch, but I haven't played Overwatch in in a while. I think I have Sims on there too. On Origin. Do I want a car, please? A car, please. Now we have an acorn. Yes, thank you. We're just going to finish this up and then we're going to head into something else. Let's see here. Nice tape measure. Now we're in the bonus chapter. Now we are in the bonus chapter. Couple more scenes and then we're done. Bottle a day keeps the doctor away. All right, so that was that. Wallpapers. Ultimate hidden object. This is basically like a never-ending hidden object. I mean, it ends, but not for a while. We've got achievements hidden in here, too. Looks like I got up to silver there. Silver. Bronze. Huh. This is if you have to replay the hidden object scenes, which uh, never gonna happen. Big chapter one without using hints. Aw. Guess I could've did that one. Concept art. I like how they do this. This was the concept, right? This was the reality. They flipped things around a bit. That's pretty cool. Concept, reality. Wow, that is very different. This one looks pretty similar. Very similar. That one looks very similar too. There. Oh, that one had a truck in it, though. Still very similar. Also very similar. So the only, the first one was the only one that really made us significantly different. Museum, pretty much the same. This one was a little different. It didn't have a mouse in the original. What? No mouse? Star, pretty much the same. That's cool. I like when they do this. They show the clip art and then the reality. That's pretty neat. Not the clip art, the, uh, you know what I mean. Concept art. Oh, we can do this too. All right, we'll do a, I don't know, maybe we'll do one of these. I wanna see what this is all about. Fright Chaser's blog. The Fright Chaser's blog was established with one clear purpose, to document unusual, eerie, and downright scary places and events. Whether exploring haunted homes or investigating odd and unexplainable occurrences, Fright Chasers will get to the bottom of it. Since its inception, the blog has presented many thrilling stories to its readers and will continue to do so in the future. Alright, one more, one more. One more, come on then. Ryan Kilmore, Ryan was a prodigal son brought up by his parents who worked as professors at the eminent university. They're showing incredible potential for him. From a very young age, he acquired an intense fascination with the science of astronomy. However, Ryan's parents never showed much more true emotional affection, leaving him with a sense that something was missing in his life. He discovered that missing piece the moment he met the love of his life. And... Alright, that's cool. I'm not gonna... 
take you through much of that because we're out of time, folks. That is the end of Fright Chasers.